is how I get to spend my morning because other people don't read agreements and don't care about other people. Yes, it's going to be one of those mornings because I had a terrible night's sleep last night. Literally, our neighbors were being so loud. They were playing music at like five something. Maybe I'm earlier, I don't know. Then again at eight. And now basically they're parking in our parking spot. So when Andrew gets home, that is like his thing. He gets really irritated by that. And I'm not saying I don't get irritated too, but he gets more irritated. So I'm just crossing my fingers that they are out of there by 10 o'clock, 9.30, maybe if he gets off early. Because otherwise, the office is going to have to come down and they're going to have to flag the car and put a ticket thing that says this is not this is paid parking, you can't park here. And then they say if they're still there by tomorrow, then they'll tow it, which does nothing because basically they're always gone by the next day anyways. So, like by the time they're like, oh, okay, we'll tow it, like they're not there, so like it doesn't matter. And the little ticket whatever that they give that explains like this is not paid parking spot blah, blah 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 like they don't care they're gone by then and then they park there again so yeah so I need some signs <laughs> I think I'm gonna put like one of the signs up on like the pole on our side and just be like hey this is like no parking these spots are paid for because all the undercover spots on our buildings all the buildings are paid for people actually pay each month to have that spot and we pay for two spots and you do have to pay extra it's not super much I think it's like 30 40 dollars but maybe less than that I'm not sure actually I think it's 30 but that's not the point we pay for that in our rent agreement that we have a spot to park every time so we don't have to park and like come home and like find a parking spot you know we pay a little extra for some parking spots <sighs> so i'm having a really frustrating morning so i made some signs i was going to leave a little note on their car i'm trying to find a less aggressive one but i wrote these when i was kind of angry i'm thinking this one is like the nicest with a little hey this spot is a paid for spot free parking is uncovered like I think that one's kind of nice but <sighs> we'll see pastelli's up over there she's eating it's so cute when she does that <laughs> oh, I added a new sticker to pastel's cage fragile handle of care and then she's got her little lights on the top which really lighten up her cage at night I turn them on when Andrew's bed because he goes to bed around 7 so I can get up at 2 um, and I turn them on and leave them on just so I have a little light when I come in to go to bed and so that I can see and check on pastel because I like to come in and do that obviously <laughs> and it's been it works really good the only thing is, is I had to put them towards the top of the cage because if they're towards the back where she can stand up, she's like, what is that? And wants to, wants to find out what it is. Those are her little ears. They're so cute. Do you see some? <laughs> she's so stinking cute. It's officially time to get out all the spooky toys for Tommy, but I realized I think he has like three Christmas ones, but he has no Halloween ones. Like he only has this one, Conrad. And Conrad's only missing an ear, but he's still in pretty good shape. So I did see some at um, Target. So I might get him another little Halloween one for the new season, but Conrad's back.
they open on the